Hey YouTube, welcome back to another one of my videos. If you're new here, howdy, welcome. And if you're returning back, well, welcome on back. You already know what the deal is. So on this channel, you know we get a little messy, gassy, and a little gassy. To give you guys a briefing on what we're about to dive headfirst into, um, a TikToker that goes by the name Vanilla BN, well, Vanilla underscore BN underscore fashion, went on a date with a guy she found off the dating app called Bumble. And uh, as soon as he got out of the car, pulled up to the scene, there was problems. Take a look at this. Please tell me if I'm wrong, but I've consulted three whole people on this and they all told me that I was right for leaving. I was supposed to go on a Starbucks date. This is what I was getting. I don't drink coffee. Anyway, we met on the apps and I'm back on the apps, unfortunately. And this guy, adore, very attractive. Um, he says he likes to do instant dates. So since it's Bumble, I have to message him first. So I was like, what is an instant date? And he goes, let's meet tomorrow. This was Tuesday. I was working. So we were, we were going to meet today. I get there like 10 minutes early. I'm chilling in my car. And I see what I think is him pull up like across from me and he doesn't move. So I go to the Bumble and he messaged me and he's like, are you here? And I was like, yeah, I'm chilling in my car. And I wave through my windshield at him. He's looking at me and I wave and he doesn't wave back. He gets out of his car, starts walking towards the Starbucks, like past my car. He has to pass my car to get to the door and... So I'm getting out of my car because he didn't stop at my car or anything. And so I'm getting out to go say like hello or and stuff. And he like closed the door in my face. Wait, so if I'm on a date with you or hanging out with you and you let a door close in my face, if you know me, it don't matter if you know me and you let a door close in my face and we're supposed to be going into somewhere together. I'm just going to turn around and walk back to my car because one my invitation ends here like i open doors for myself and, and the matter of the fact is i would have held the door open for you so if that door closes in my face oh baby this is not the place for me anymore it's time for me to skedaddle it don't cost a darn cent to show a little respect okay i mean if my best friend did that to me i would give her a lip and be like girl are you drunk like let's go back i had to come in here to tell you about yourself <laughs> but let's go back out there and try it again and she would do the same thing to me so <laughs> so then he's already sitting down he's sitting down like when i get inside starbucks right and like i wave there also like while he's sitting down and he just kind of looks at me funny. And then I'm like, well, maybe this is the wrong person, right? So I go to line, go to the line and I'm ordering my drink. <laughs> and while I'm on my, while I'm ordering my drink, I'm on Bumble, like trying to see if this is the right person. So I'm looking at him and I look at him and it's fucking, it's him, it's him. So <laughs> he doesn't come up over to me at all in the line either. And then I'm waiting for my drink. He doesn't come over there while I'm waiting for my drink. And at that point, I've been in the Starbucks because they were busy for like 10 minutes. And with nothing. Silence. Like, I've tried to talk to you twice. You shut a door in my face. And then you didn't speak to me. You're already sitting down. Like, you didn't come up to me or anything. So I get my drink and I walk past him. I walk past him. I go to my car. I get in my car, I go to talk, I go to Bumble so I could be like, that was fucking rude, like you wasted my time. And he was like, well, you have a good day too. What? I don't think I'm wrong for leaving. Let me know. Because I feel like my I have like crazy high standards, but like that was like the bare minimum. Oh child, let me see if I can bless this miss. So you said that you waved at him through your windshield, right? He was parking across from you and you waved at him through your windshield. Then you walked up to the door where he was at and he let it close in your face. And you know, I be trying to make the best out of nothing. And I know that this is a stretch, but maybe he didn't see you. I don't know. But then also the other half of me is like, if he was actually looking for you, he would have saw you. You know what I mean? Like 
you're meeting up with someone, the person that you're meeting up with, you're going to look for. You're going to seek them out. You know what I mean? Then you get in line and wave at him again and he just looks at you funny. I would have put one of these. And then walked off. And you don't want to pay? I'll keep my funky $6 and some change. Okay? I'll keep them. Not that on the first date I let them pay anyway. But uh, you didn't even offer. Like, I want to argue about it. Like, the heck? And to be honest, whether we're talking about payment or non-payment, if you guys are supposed to be together, y'all are supposed to be together on this date. Like, he didn't even, that's hecka weird. Like, he didn't even walk up to her to stand in line with her. He just found a seat and sat down and was just, like, chilling. But in all actuality, like, she could have walked up to him, too. If we're going to look at it that way, she could have walked up to him, too. Which I get that. But also, like, acknowledge me, too, you know? Like, I kind of would have felt scared. Like, is this man going to kill me? So if you guys are anything like me, you would think, hmm, does she look like her pictures? Like, is she catfishing right now? Like, uh, is that why he's not looking at her? By the way, if you did think that before I said it, go ahead and subscribe. And if you thought it while I was saying it, go ahead and subscribe because we're the same so you already know you're gonna live it here you're gonna like it here just do it it's free i know some people would be saying oh but taj going off of looks could be superficial but what do you do when it's something drastic just like this what do you do then especially off of a dating app that you have to swipe on like it's all about looks who please and of course we're not alone in thinking like do you eat, look like your photos in your profile some people were asking her up under her video and she made a response video check this out to you goofy men in my comments saying that i don't look like my pictures what are you talking about blonde braids nose ring thick get a life another tiktoker wrote that's what instant dating is. It's basically like they show up. If they don't like what you look like, they're just going to ignore you and leave. So why do you even have Bumble with the pictures on there? I mean, I feel like that in itself is the instant dating. You know what I mean? Because like you're already looking at their profile, already looking at what they put out there in their pictures. That's your instant dating right there. So for you to match with somebody on a dating app and then meet with them the next day just to glance at them and be like, mm -mm, and then leave. That's kind of wicked a little bit. Like that would damage somebody that hurts, you know, like, dang, like you look cuter in your pictures or, you, you know, like that could be damaging a little bit. Or the real instant date is in real life. Just go outside and undelete the app anyways. Well, delete the app anyways and just go outside, go to a bar. That's like instant dating without crushing somebody's feelings. Not saying that this girl is crushed, but sheesh. You guys are getting harsher and harsher by the year. And it ain't just the government. It's y'all on the streets too. Dang. But I did find a really weird explanation of this instant date thing in the comments that read instant date you walk in and look and if they don't talk or make an effort you don't pass what they like but if you like you approach so really weird like typed out and stuff but hey whatever we get what i mean so when he saw her wave through the windshield he knew he didn't like her when he saw her come up to the door he let it close because he didn't like her and for sure, when she waved at him again in the line and he looked at her crazy, he knew that he didn't like her. So why go inside? There's Starbucks are almost like Dollar Generals. They're everywhere. So like, or even Dunkin' Donuts or go home and make a pot of coffee. You know what I mean? Like why even go in to even just irk off? That would have been a, a, a better story. You know what I mean? Not 
because it's nicer but like just just leave but i for a fact would have exactly known in that very moment that the door closed in my face that i did not like this guy and i would have walked off and left but that's kind of different because that is all in all universes and situations disrespectful to let something close in somebody's face i know you've been behind somebody before and they just let a door close in your face while you're like this close to them behind them walking don't be not stalkerish far away but like you know and they just close the door in your face like dang like you can't hold it like for two seconds you weirdo so i i i mean is is this what we're doing now i mean it, it's nothing new if you think about it it's really nothing new it's just people going on to dating apps doing what they do in real life like think about it come on i go into a bar i'm looking for some honeys or some hotties right i'm going to scan the bar and if i don't see anybody in the bar that catches my eye i'm just gonna have a time of my life by myself you know or whoever i'm with and you know this is actually like really real there's a video on this talking about it did you know there's now something called instant dating where people show up for the dates and if they don't care for what they see they put in no effort and they simply bounce i'm so done i don't know guys i don't know i i don't i don't know like it's crazy to me like what is happening in the world like first gas prices come up and then we're instant dating it's just like what what is this i mean it's crazy you know instacart insta dating insta everything's going so fast just live life you know what i mean get to know somebody personality see what they got for you because a handsome man can't do what an ugly man can do you know what i mean like sometimes qualities ain't you get what i mean you get what i mean anyways guys thanks for letting me ramble on and on um thank you for tuning into another one of my videos i missed you guys and never forget who loves you the most it is i i love you i love you i love you until the next time guys i will see you in another video bye